the people of Philadelphia send to Rio a message of hope and humanity in honor of world peace, dignity, and interdependence, we send to Rio this video postcard from the people in hopes that it will light the way with love, inspiration, and goodwill. Oh, Deus, por toda a juventude, rezamos por vós. Somos gente nova e queremos celebrar a vida. Choramos por todas aquelas vidas mortas pela fome, pobreza, desemprego, doença, repressão, injustiça. Queremos anunciar vida abundante, trabalho, educação, saúde, alojamento, pão para todos. Queremos comunhão, um mundo renovado. Esperança contra esperança, com a história de Deus, queremos fazer um mundo melhor. Oração da Juventude Brasileira. As a born-again American, I welcome everyone uh, to the consideration that Philadelphia is the spirit and the heart of freedom, justice, liberty, equality for all, everyone. We submit as a preamble to the Earth Charter a declaration of interdependence. This declaration reaffirms the draft principles proposed by the chairman of Working Group 3 and the Preparatory Committee for the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development. We propose this document as a preamble from the people, and we read it today in historic Independence Park here in Philadelphia, a birthplace of human rights and freedom, and we send it respectfully to historic Flamingo Park for the Global Forum. When in the course of history, the threat of extinction confronts mankind, it is necessary for the people of the United States to declare their interdependence with the people of all nations and to embrace those principles and build those institutions which will enable mankind to survive and civilization to flourish. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that the inequalities and injustices which afflict so much of the human race are the product of history and society and not of God or nature, that people everywhere are entitled to the blessings of life and liberty, peace and security and the realization of their full potential, to establish a new world order of compassion, peace, justice and security, it is essential that mankind free itself from the limitations of national prejudice and acknowledge that the forces that unite it are incomparably deeper than those that divide it, that all people are part of one global community, dependent on one body of resources, bound together by the ties of a common humanity and associated in a common adventure on the planet Earth. Let us then join together to vindicate and realize this great truth that mankind is one and as one will nobly save or irreparably lose the heritage of thousands of years of civilization. And let us set forth the principles which should animate and inspire us if our civilization is to survive. We affirm that the resources of the globe are finite, not infinite that they are the heritage of no one nation or generation, but of all peoples, nations, and of posterity. We affirm that the exploitation of the poor by the rich and the weak by the strong violates our common humanity and denies to large segments of society the blessings of life, liberty, and happiness. We affirm that the resources of nature are sufficient to nourish and sustain all the present inhabitants of the globe, and that there is an obligation on every society to distribute those resources equitably. We affirm our responsibility to help create conditions which will make for peace and security and to build more effective machinery for pe keeping peace among the nations. We affirm that the oceans are the common property of mankind 
whose dependence on their incomparable resources of nourishment and strength will, in the next century, become crucial for human survival, and that their exploitation should be so regulated as to serve the interests of the entire globe and of future generations. We affirm that pollution flows with the waters and flies with the winds, that it recognizes no boundary lines and penetrates all defenses, that it works irreparable damage to nature and to mankind. We affirm that the exploration and utilization of outer space is a matter equally important to all the nations of the globe, and that no nation can be permitted to exploit or develop the potentialities of the planetary system exclusively for its own benefits. We affirm that the economy of all nations is a seamless web, and that no one nation can any longer effectively maintain its processes of production and monetary systems without recognizing the necessity for collaborative regulation by international authorities. We affirm that in a civilized society, the institutions of science and the arts are never at war and call upon all nations to exempt these institutions from the claims of chauvinistic nationalism and to foster that great community of learning and creativity whose benign function it is to advance the civilization and the health and happiness of mankind. We affirm that a world without law is a world without order. And we call upon all nations to strengthen and to sustain the United Nations and its specialized agencies and other institutions of world order. We call upon the people of the world to display the boldness, enterprise, magnanimity, and vision to inaugurate a new era in human history. The fate of humanity hangs in the balance. Throughout the globe, hearts and hopes wait upon us. We summon all mankind to unite to meet the great challenge. In honor of the historic Earth Summit, we the young people of Philadelphia sound out for peace in our streets, peace in our schools, and peace at our homes. We send to Rio a message of healing and of hope for the future, and we declare peace with all our young brothers and sisters of the world. We hold the light of tomorrow. We are the keepers of the dream. Let us stand strong together. Let us face the new day before us with courage and with love. Thank you. Today we sing out in harmony and in hope for all of humanity. We send to Rio a message for all mankind that we are all one planet, one people, and of one God. In honor of all people who seek dignity and peace, we pray. Let us pray for the dignity of all people and for the peaceful life and planet that God intends. Let us sing out together. What I want to say is what it's about is people. It's about caring and loving for people and about concern for our environment and each other and to fill our needs on many levels, emotional, spiritual, environmental. I just want to say that. Good luck. Hello, Rio. My name is Phyllis Gilbert. I've been a, um, an environmentalist in Philadelphia for 10 years. I applaud your wonderful coming together and hope that you will learn from one another. And we. We're looking to you for our leadership and hope that you will 
appreciate this document of independence. Good cheer. Bonjour, Rio. Je m'appelle Muriel de Givenchy. Je suis française. Freedom, peace, love. Merci. Yo, Rio. Uh, I'm Tony Dennis. This is my daughter, Satonia, and we like to say, peace up. I'm Mike Harrison. I'm from the band Crush Factor, and this is Christy, my girlfriend. Um, I just like to say this is my first time uniting with everybody, and uh, you know, I think what's going on is really beautiful. Peace from the heart. Thank you. Hello, my name is Charlie Callahan. From one park to another, the Rangers of Independence National Historical Park would like to say hi and best wishes to the people of Rio. Thank you. Hello, my name is Terry O'Connor, and I wrote the song Save the Earth that you heard in the begin beginning of this video. And I wrote the song as a way of speaking out my concern for the environment. And I had a number of students involved in singing the chorus. And we all went into the recording studio, recorded the song, and it's played on the radio in the Philadelphia area. We've also performed the song a number of places. And the song actually empowered the students to go on and take on projects of their own to help reach out to people and educate them about some of the environmental concerns that we have. And my message to everyone is that I know that we can all join hands together and find the solutions that we need to create the world that we want today and in the future. Thank you. I always say the children, that's something we can. If we all work together, bring the war to an end. But we have to work together, combine as one. Then maybe, yo, we'll get things done. There's children out here as young as eight and nine, doing drugs, doing lines, and also committing crimes. And then say to yourself, we gotta save the lives. The neighborhood's whack, the family's on crack. The government isn't doing much, breaking their backs with the tax. We have to save the children, because they are the future. And if we don't do so, you can say goodbye to your future. Peace, Rio. Hi, I'm Zamu. I'm a member of the human family. I'm an African living in America. I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud of my culture and I'm proud of my heritage. But I know that the bigger picture is to know that you're a part of the human family. So I challenge each and every one of you here today to take that obligation. Make sure you reach back and help somebody. And if you do, then we can do this. I wrote a song called We Can Do It. I must climb to the hill where my destiny lies. I've been called to deliver my purpose of time. I'm gonna sing it out.
is my wife, Malika, Hi. my son, Zaire, and my child that's coming. <laughs> Please, stand up, do something. Don't allow yourself to be complacent about anything. Come out of there with a solution that's gonna help us all. I wanna make a better world for myself and my family, and especially this one right here. God bless you all. God bless you. Say, God bless you. <laughs> Hello, Rio. My name's Don Benalil. I'm a native Philadelphian. I've had the good fortune to live in many parts of the world. And if it taught me anything, it's the people are the same. And we all need to take care of each other. We all have the same faults. We all have the same good points. And we got to work on the up part. And greetings to everybody. Thank you. Hola, Rio. Que paso? Hello, Rio. How you doing? Seguridad para el mundo. Ditto for me. Yo cantar en un grupo, stubborn puppet. Stubborn puppet. Gracias. God bless you. I'd just like to say on this great occasion that one quote comes to mind, an old Chinese proverb that is the following. There is nothing softer or thinner on this planet than water. But to compel the hard and unyielding, it has no equal. That the gentle overcomes the strong, and the hard gives way to the soft, this everybody knows, but no one acts accordingly. Please, take it into your hearts to act accordingly. Thank you. Seguridad para el agua. Gracias. Greetings to Rio. I'm Danielle DeShields from the George Washington Carver High School of Engineering and Science, and I won first place in the oratorical contest. And I would like to say that I hope you listen to what I've said and make a change and take and go from there from where I left off. My name is Marcella Jones. I teach at the High School of Engineering and Science, and I'm Danielle's oratorical coach. And we're glad that she was able to participate to show other young people throughout the world that they can make a difference. Hi, I'm Dana DeShields. I'm Danielle's sister, and I'd like to say hi to Rio. Hi, I'm Darlene DeShields, and I'd like to say, world leaders, take a moment and listen. This world is here for all of us to share. Hi, I'm Tony Dennis, and I would like to read a Brazilian prayer of the young people, a prayer for the world. Oh, God of all you, we pray to you. We want all young people to celebrate life. We cry out against all that kills life. Hunger, poverty, unemployment, sickness, repression, and injustice. We want to announce fullness of life, work, education, health, housing, and bread for all. We want a communion, a world renewed. We hope against hope with the Lord of history. We want to make all things new. Thank you. My name is Hap Haven. I also am here to plead with adults to make a commitment this year to at least young, one young person and lead them forward in their hopes and dreams. I also like to read a brief statement from George F. Regis, who wrote, if there is to be peace among nations, peace in our cities, peace in our families, we must have first internal disarmament, a truce of eternal civil war, a creative resolution to those eternal conflicts. If there is to be any hope that we can possibly reach across the Pacific Ocean in love and affirm those other countries as friends and brothers, then we must first deal lovingly and creatingly with ourselves. Peace.